Okay, I thought I'd do a quick video uh, on this uh, 260B backhoe, um, the uh, removal process. Um, this is aimed at uh, people who don't own a John Deere and are interested in how the uh, backhoe comes on and off. If, uh, of course, if you own this setup, you already know how to do this, so not going to mean anything to you but it's a little bit different also uh, than the uh, regular 260 backhoe that this one replaced it's the pen setup is a little bit different so if you're interested in seeing that here goes so first you always uh, let your bucket down, I do. Put it in park. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind, unless you uh, enjoy doing wheelies across your yard, make sure when you take the uh, backhoe on and off that your loader is installed. Uh, because, uh, like I said, that's a lot of weight on the back. And if you don't have the loader on, you got the potential of uh, doing a wheelie. So, uh, okay, now I'm going to crank it up. I'm going to leave it at idle. Of course, the first thing you do is uh, release your blocking lever here and lower your. Your outrigger here, so you just have so it's just touching the ground. You don't want to raise the tractor up, just just touching the ground. Okay, just lightly touching the ground. All right, now uh, you can leave this pin in, it's recommended that you leave that pin in. You've got to release the pressure on this pin. Take it out, put it in the storage slot. Okay, now we've got to uh, release the pressure on these pins right here. The way you do that is uh, curl your bucket to where it's about like that. And put a little down pressure on it. And your pins, you gotta play with it until you take the pressure off the pins. Okay, there's loose. Now these pins are different from the uh, the old 260. I think the old 260 came in from this direction. And if you'll notice, there's the other pin. It's this uh, piece here goes through that slot there and keeps it from backing out. That's why it's coming in from the other direction. So you take your two pins out. I usually just sit them right there. Okay, now, now you can lift your outriggers up and kind of bring, bring it up. I'm going to do that evenly on both sides. Now 
okay you can see down here the uh, pieces on the uh, frame Okay, well, uh, what you would do now is pull the tractor forward uh, about six inches or so. After you pulled the tractor forward a little bit, uh, then of course uh, you want to cycle your uh, levers up here and release the pressure. Um, then you can disconnect your lines and then uh, what I like to do is take these lines here on the backhoe and then hook them together that way they don't get dirty and then of course you got to hook your power beyond connectors together if you don't do that um, your three point it's not going to work and uh, if you've got a uh, a hard surface that uh, you can store this on I highly recommend that you either buy or build yourself a roll around dolly it's going to make it a lot easier to put it back on if you're just going to leave it out here outside somewhere um, I would recommend that you uh, block up the frame, get you some wood or whatever and block it up and then you can lower the, the outriggers here and then let it rest. The, uh, if you don't, you could come back days or weeks later and it's, everything's going to leak down and it's liable to be sitting right on the ground. Uh, you want to leave this pin in because I mean it could leak down and for all I know the thing could fall over and then you'd have a heck of a time getting the hoses hooked back up and uh, this bucket is going to leak down and it's going to fold down um, like I said if you've got a uh, a dolly it's going to make it a whole lot easier to deal with so uh, let's put it back on pins are down in that slot down there. Alright, so now you're done.
go to um, Glacier uh, Zerks. Of course, you may already know this, but there's a Grease Zerk there and down in there. The easiest way to do that is bring your uh, bring your boom up. Of course, uh, helps if you uh, take that out. Anyways, real easy to get to now. Alright, thanks for watching.